Step 36. I went ahead and assembled the supercharger. Got everything set aside here. What we're going to do is take <clears throat> this light piece, put it like that, and then it's got these two covers that snap on there. I'll screw those down. Alright, so you end up with that. And now, this part's a little bit trickier, but basically this is going to go on the back like this. And we're going to install these uh, clamps. There's three of them. These two are the same. This one's a different one. The difference is, if you can see there, the one's got the uh, real small diameter hole, and this one's a little bit bigger. That's Those are the ones that go on the edges. That one, they're the same. They're both big. That's to tie in the middle piece, so we'll go ahead and screw those in. Okay, so that's what you end up with. And note that this back piece swivels. So you can adjust it to the um, to get ready to mount it to the body. And that's it for step 36. I'm getting ready to paint the body. Um, I went with testers. Dark gloss dark blue. And all the parts have been prepped. Um, you can see I've got them sitting up on wood stands. That's so that I can ensure that I get um, complete coverage of the part. Um, you know, you don't want to end up with little bits of white. So, and all I did was put in some nails into this piece of wood and propped them up. Alright, and then everything's been rubbed down with rubbing alcohol, so it's nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and put one light coat, give it a little while to dry, and then one final coat. Just want to avoid getting drips, right? It's good there. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for just a little bit, and I'll put the final coat on. I got rushed, so I couldn't film the last coat, but it doesn't matter. He's boring anyway. That's the second coat. I'll let this dry overnight, and then there'll be a second um, color I'm going to put on there. I'll show you how I'm going to mask that off. All that good stuff coming up. The kit comes with a stencil sheet like this. And I'm going to use this for the second paint, uh, layer of paint. It's going to be a silverish color. It's like metallic gray. So what you want to do is cut these out. And then 
the way I do it is I just use a, a ruler to get nice straight lines. Fresh exacto knife, of course. And that should just pop out. So we'll go ahead and cut all these out. The paint is dried. And now what I'm going to do is these little cutouts that they provide. I'm going to go ahead and apply these. So what I do is just start it about half, just a little bit, you know. That way I can get everything lined up before I apply the um, the mask. And you can see it's got a little cutout right there for the um, door handle. So I'm gonna kind of put that there. Do my best to line it up. That'll be pretty good, hopefully. Those counts, right? Now I'll go ahead and remove this. And the idea is I'm going <clears> to <throat> put on all the rest and then um, tape off the rest of the body and then I'm just going to paint these bits silver. Just this, this bottom panel is going to get a touch of silver. A lot of newspaper, a lot of tape. But remember we're just painting this section right here silver so I wanted to ensure that um, there's no way overspray could get anywhere I didn't want it. Um, you want to pay careful attention to where these two masks line up. You'll see on this side, I had to put a piece of tape in there because there was a small sliver of blue exposed where I would add a little sliver of uh, silver paint. Decal probably would have hit it, but hey, I'm going to do it, do it right. There's the back. And I wanted this mask stop here because this is the top of the truck bed, which is going to be blue. And then uh, this piece is going to go like that. So you'll still see the top of the truck bed. So I want to keep it blue. You don't want to accidentally get that silver to look weird. Alright, so let's get the painting. Alright, with everything prepped, that's what I'm using. Graphite gray metallic. See how it turns out. This piece I'm actually going to hold. That's why I put the glove on. It's all right. It's real thin paint. I'm not going to put any more on. I'll let this dry. Do two coats. Let's get these edges here. I'll uh, let that dry. I'm going to hit that with the hair dryer. Um, I'll let that dry for about 15-20 minutes after I hit it with the hair dryer and I'll put one final coat on and then we'll see what it looks like. Alright, I've let this sit for about 45 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and peel off the um, mask. I like to do it when the paint's still just a little bit wet. Uh, I feel like it makes for crisper lines. Um, I could be wrong, but it's just the way I do it. Just be careful. I'm going to be careful not to touch the paint. I'll do this one on the camera so you can see what it looks like. Just peel it off. You want to peel the tape in the direction of the lines. Just go nice and slow, make sure you're not accidentally peeling up paint. There we go. 
turned out great. So I'm going to peel the rest off and then start applying decals. I peeled the mask off and it turned out pretty good. There were just two spots that didn't turn out. Right there, there's a little mark where it bled through the tape for whatever reason. And on this side, looks pretty good, but again, right there. There's a little mark there, you see that? Luckily, the um, decals are going to cover all that up, so not a big deal. I got lucky on that. So overall, it turned out pretty good. I got to let this cure overnight, then I'll put the decals on.